One of the great advantages of RAW is its extended dynamic range. Instead of a JPEG which only has 8 bits of data per color component, RAW files have 12 or even 14 bits of color data. A 14-bit image has over 60 times more data per component. That's a staggering amount of information. The problem is that most of that extra data has to be manipulated in an editor to be useful. That's where apps like RAW Power come in. In this video, I'll show you how to recover highlights in RAW images using the tools in RAW Power. In a separate video, I will focus on shadow detail. While the app has some very simple tools that will do a good job, if you employ some advanced sliders, you'll get much better results. Look at the waves in the middle of this image. There's no detail there at all. I'll switch to a JPEG that I made from that RAW. Because JPEGs only have 8 bits of range, you cannot extract any of the additional detail in those waves. I'll move the exposure slider down and you'll see that the waves just become gray. Now I'll do the same for the RAW. You can see how much detail there is in those waves. Let's talk about clipping indicators. Each circle next to the word histogram that I'm circling right here gives you information about overexposure. The first one, the whitish gray one, is a hot and cold pixels indicator. If it's lit up, then you have overexposed data in some channel, red, green, or blue. The other indicators tell you about overexposure in individual channels, like red or blue. That's useful if you want to use curves or levels to manipulate just that channel. If you tap on the white indicator, you will see both over- and underexposed pixels as an overlay. The red indicates overexposed pixels, and the blue areas are pixels that are black, zero in all channels. Now as I drag the exposure slider down, you will see the red areas disappear. And then the blue areas rise as more pixels are going to go to black because I'm decreasing exposure. Of course, we can't just turn down exposure. It makes the whole image dark. So how do we use Raw Power's tools to recover those highlights while also maintaining overall brightness in the image? One choice is recovery. I can move the slider and get some highlights back, but not as much as exposure. I'll zoom in so you can see that better. I can also use the highlight slider, and if, and if I move that, you will see that it does bring back a lot more of the highlights but you have to take highlights to the maximum. Here's before and after. That may be fine in some cases, but there's another slider you can use. It's called Boost. I'll reset the adjustments first. You'll find Boost in the raw processing adjustment. Boost is like a master switch. It has a big effect on the overall look of an image. If you move it all the way to zero, you will get a very flat, raw-like image that lacks contrast. That's good if you want to do all the editing yourself. In my experience, I find that Boost does a good job for well-exposed images, but it can be an impediment for overexposed ones. That's because Boost, among other things, tends to brighten images. If you don't turn Boost down, then anything you do to darken highlights will be somewhat counteracted by Boost. So I drag Boost down to about 0.5. It doesn't change the image much, but you will see a difference when I move the recovery slider. Wow, I'll show it to you before and after. I'll do this again, but in reverse to show you how much boost can help with overexposed images. I'll start by moving recovery halfway. Not much happens. Now I'll move Boost. You can really see the difference. I'll turn off Boost again here so you can see what it really did. By the way, in addition to the clipping indicators, there's a control next to the word Tone right here. It shows a different kind of overlay. This one will show you clipping in individual channels the way Photoshop does, if you're familiar with how that works. As I increase exposure, for example, you will see colors appear, which tell you which channels are clipped. If you see red, like in the foreground, that means the red channel is clipped. And if you see white, all channels are clipped, like in the waves. And mixes of colors, like cyan, indicate multiple channels being clipped. 
This is also true for highlights and recovery. That's a quick tour of using raw power to recover highlights using the highlight slider, recovery, but most importantly, boost. Thanks for watching.